afternoon Mets fans and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met and coming at you as the Mets reach back down to their season low low water mark of 11 games under 500 after dropping their second straight game in the Bronx. Uh, it was a tale of, uh, of, of more of the same uh, in, in the Bronx. The Mets were, uh, were out homered by the Yankees but not really, um, because uh, there were some silver linings to take from last night's game. But if you'd asked which of the two starting pitchers for the Mets were going to pitch better in this two-game set in the Bronx, uh, and uh, anyone had given you the answer, it's going to be Rafael Montero, you would have been surprised. But uh, after DeGrom's performance last night, which wasn't bad by any means, uh, you'd have to look at them side by side and say, Rafael Montero put up better numbers and had a better start than Jacob deGrom did. And you know, it's it's kind of weird to even say that and at this point because uh, as I've pointed out a few times in the last week or so, um, Jacob deGrom has been the, uh, the rock for this Mets rotation and for this Mets team. His 13 wins represent a quarter of the team's wins, so, you know, a little bit less than a quarter, but close enough to it. Um, certainly 20%, you know, a fifth of the wins. But, you know, you can't be perfect all the time, and Jake didn't struggle by any means last night. Um, he didn't have his best stuff, obviously, as, as indicated by the low strikeout numbers that he put up, but he still battled through seven and two-thirds or seven and one-third innings last night. He nearly pitched a complete game in a losing effort. Uh, a lot of the hits that he gave up were, were not hard-hit balls. I mean, he was giving up very, very softly hit balls that were just finding holes and finding spaces to drop in in the outfield. Uh, it was frustrating to watch. I can only imagine how frustrated Jake was uh, on the mound um, on the receiving end of such poor fortune. But, you know, that's baseball. It is what it is. You can't win every single game. Uh, but as I said, there were definitely some silver linings to take from this series. Um, silver lining number one is, uh, is Dom Smith's home run last night. Um, up until his swing in the game last night, Dom has not been shown to be, be making very strong contact. He's been uh, pounding the ball into the ground a lot. He hasn't been hitting line drives. He certainly hasn't been driving the ball. Uh, and last night, although it was most certainly a Yankee Stadium home run, um, the ball that he hit, if he had hit it in City Field, would have been a fly out to the left fielder. It was a home run in Yankee Stadium. It was his first career home run. And he hit it off of a very good pitcher, Sonny Gray, who pitched extremely well last night to earn his first uh, home win um, as a Yankee. Or I guess it was his first win as a Yankee, but it was his Yankee Stadium debut um, in pinstripes. So good for Sonny Gray. Um, I, I hate kind of wishing the Yankees well here, but... I'm almost to the point where I, I, I don't I don't wish them not well, so I guess by default I'm wishing them well. I don't know. Um, but Sonny Gray pitched a great game last night. Um, the Mets weren't able to put much solid contact on any balls, uh, again, until Dom Smith's home run. He went the other way, which was great to see. So that was silver lining number one. Silver lining number two is Ahmed Rosario's home run, which he hit off of closer extraordinaire flamethrower Aroldis Chapman. It was awesome to see Rosario uh, hit a home run uh, in, a, in a clutch position and really in, in a game that the Mets were losing, needed to come back to make it a game. Uh, it, was, it wasn't the ninth inning, so it was too little too late, but still nice to see. And, um, you know, as the series now shifts to uh, City Field to resume tonight, um, hopefully the Mets can take the solace in the fact that they're two young players uh, their two young future cornerstones at first base and shortstop uh, are starting to come around on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, in addition to Rosario's uh, uh, offensive um, performance last night, uh, it's it's got to be said that he looks really comfortable in the field. Um, Gary, and I think it was either Gary or Ron, pointed out last night that um, he's just so athletic. He looks the part uh, of a major league shortstop. And it's something that's been dreadfully lacking on this team for several years as far as having a true athletic and athletically gifted shortstop manning that position in the, in the field. And in Rosario, the Mets certainly have that. So that's absolutely a great thing to see. Silver lining number three was Juan Ligaris. Um, it, it was nice to see Juan get a start last night. Uh, they're, they're very hard to come by for him. 
Uh, although down the stretch, they really shouldn't be. I, I really do think the Mets need to play Lagaris over Granderson at this point, uh, unless they're continuing to showcase Curtis for a potential trade, um, which is certainly still a possibility. But I, I just feel like the Mets have to get regular at-bats for Lagaris. Um, he's been he's been very injury prone. Uh, obviously, he's missed a lot of time on the disabled list um, in his several years with the Mets. But when he's on the field, he is an absolute difference maker. If with nothing else than his glove, uh, he's he's one of the best center fielders in baseball. And I'd like to see him get a chance to be the center fielder for this team going forward. I, I don't know why the Mets need to do something creative to try to get a center fielder. Um, if they aren't willing to give the guy that they have a legit shot to prove that he could be that guy. Um, they signed him to this contract several years ago. It was a very team-friendly contract. It's close to expiring. I think he's, his last year under that contract is not next year, but the year after. Uh, but it was a five-year, $28 million contract, or something in that neighborhood. And that's a very team-friendly contract. And for a guy who could be, could be a, a legitimate gold glove candidate year after year if he's given the opportunity to do that um, I think the Mets owe it to themselves to really make that happen and, and, and try and see what they have in, in Juan Lagares and I know you're not really evaluating him the same way you'd be evaluating a Dom Smith or an Ahmed Rosario who were just called up but by the same token you do need to evaluate whether or not Lagares could be an answer in the outfield and I'm not talking as just a fourth outfielder I'm talking about an everyday starting center fielder in the major leagues. Uh, tonight, the Mets, uh, as I said, head back to uh, to Flushing to host games three and four of this interleague home away, whatever you want to call it, series with the Yankees. And uh, making his return off the disabled list tonight for the Mets will be Robert Gazelman. Um, hopefully, Gazelman in taking Seth Lugo's spot, who switches spots with Gazelman on the uh, disabled list. Uh, hopefully, Gazelman can get back to the pitcher that he was last year. Uh, and improve on his dreadful ERA, which he uh, built up over the course of a pretty, pretty poor season to kick this year off. Uh, hopefully he can, uh, he can get back to being the pitcher that we thought he might be. Will he ever be an ace? No, I, I think we all agree on that. But he, was, he showed signs of being a very decent middle of the rotation, back end of the rotation arm uh, in 2016. And tonight will be an opportunity for him to show that he can still be that going forward. So uh, thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're not already doing so, you can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. Uh, today's Mets trivia question on Twitter is, uh, is regarding the starting pitcher who has the best winning percentage, single season winning percentage in Mets franchise history. Who was it? What was the record? When did it happen? Uh, that's the question. If you think you know the answer, hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met and let me know what the answer is. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and as always, let's go Mets.